The Copperheads started a brutal stretch of baseball games in the right way today as they took care of the Stark County Terriers by a final score of 12 to 2. And Jake, not only was the offense obviously good, they put 12 runs on the board, but on the mound, Justin Brantley was terrific. Maybe the best we've seen him all year, a complete effort. Oh, there's no doubt Brantley was fantastic from pitch number one. Uh, six and a third innings, give up only, I think, two hits. One run was fantastic. Nine strikeouts, his uh, season high there. Probably his best outing of the season. He's now four and one. But then you talk about the offense and how good it was. Blaze Salter, Aaron Novak, both with home runs today. Salter really got it going with a three-run blast. Uh, but this offense, one through nine, was great. And you had a handful of guys that are usual starters and mainstays in that lineup sitting out. It showed the depth of this team to to get that that big of a win against a team that that, that put up 37 runs, uh, or I should say 27 runs the night before. Um, so the pitching was fantastic, the offense was fantastic, all around win. Yeah, statistically, Stark County the best offensive team in this league. So that speaks a lot to Brantley and the other guys that pitched in today's ball game. And as you said, the offense was great, top to bottom. 18 hits for the Copperheads today. After the ball game, we caught up with Matt Lopez, one of the top hitters in today's game, and we also talked to Justin Brantley. They both told us about what it was like to win today's ball game. It's really important to start off. Uh, obviously, any streak you go on or any uh, road trip you go on, you want to start off on a win. So it's good to get the first one. And yeah, uh, you know we're good from line one, line two, line three. Uh, no one, no one really drops a beat. Uh, they pick it up right where the other people left off. So it's going to be a good day after good day. Go out there with a lot more confidence. Uh, you're not scared. You're not trying to nick corners and trying to keep the ball off base. Uh, I mean, this team is, I guess, the leading league in hitting, I guess, at some point. Uh, they're batting like 310. So you're not, when you have that lead, you can miss over the plate a little bit and let them try to put them, get themselves out. Uh, so then the lead, you can't yeah, give our offense credit. Uh, didn't let us do that. The busy stretch of baseball will continue tomorrow as the Copperheads go to Xenia. Jake, it'll be one of the 16 games that they're playing in a stretch of like 10, 11 days. I mean, one of the craziest stretches you'll ever see. How do you stay focused? Yeah, it's something that I think this team has started to get used to, the grind of a summer ball season, especially when it started late. The fact that they've had all these rainouts is not going to help. Uh, but uh, this is a team that's been through this before. They had seven games in nine, ga nine days just a week and a half ago. Uh, so this team, and they went 6-3 and three on that trip, and they were all on the road. This time they'll have some home games, so this is a stretch that I think they're ready for. Uh, but they do start off uh, on the road tomorrow against Xenia, so uh, the grind just continues, and that's why it was so important tonight to get Justin Brantley to go six and a third inning and save that bullpen as much as he could. If you want to listen into tomorrow's game, you can go to CopperheadBaseball.com and click on the away game link. You can listen to Jake and I. First pitch of that ball game will be 7 p.m. We'll go on the air at 6. 45 so please listen in we always like having all the viewers that we do have and also please make sure that you look into all of our copperhead social media i always say it but we have a facebook page follow us at twitter at go copperheads and go to our youtube page search for copperheads baseball and you'll find all kinds of daily updates uh, as far as videos are concerned with that being said he's been jacob corgan i've been ryan boyd and this is another copperheads victory 12 to 2 over stark county